Hello everyone, Dylan here with another LEGO Indiana Jones review, and this one's on Escape from the Lost 2, the new version that is now being released, of course. So on the front of the box here we have the, the LEGO Indiana Jones logo, and that neat new border, where, but with minifig indie instead of regular indie, or in film version indie, like we had with the original version of the theme, but yeah. Then I see a picture of the whole set in action and all four minifigs included. And recommended ages is a eight and up. Set number 77013 has 600 pieces. And on the back side of the box, which we do have a, another view of the set. And also all the features of it, with the logos again, set number again, but yeah. <clears throat> and now onto the manual, which quite plain renderings like we saw, like we've been seeing since last year. And then out of how they're turning over to paper bags and also as for the builder app on the back kind of wind on the online survey and then all the pieces that come with the set and then the last steps <clears throat> so now on to the four mini things First up is Indiana Jones, new updated version. And of course, same hat piece or hair hat combo piece like we see in the uh, Fire Plant Chase uh, set of, that this set's been released alongside with. But and also face same face printing as in that set, obviously. But leg printing also the same there. And of course, has the satchel piece also like the original versions kind of did. Oh, which nice to see there. And the next up we have Mary Ravenwood, of which with her torso print, leg printing, really good for that. And of course, holding a torch piece, of course, all of which good update from the original 2008-9 version. And of course, that the newer style hair piece also well works with her. And next to it, and also of who's all new and exclusive to this scent is uh, Sala. Yeah, solid eye, yeah. Who which the torso print and face printing all look really good for him. And not only leg printing, but still not bad. And of course, good use of that head wrapping kind of piece. Probably like we've seen in some collectible minifig set. Or collectible minifigs, of course. But however, although kind of interesting why he was not present in the original line for that. But at least still great to see here, but yeah. And the last of which is a mummy, of which would kind of seem similar to most mummy minifigs we've seen in the past with like CMF series and so on. But at least this which a, a kind of which be quite nicely done update version, but which you can definitely use in some mocks based upon the mummy movie or whatever. But yeah, it has on the back side of each of them. At least with Indian Mary Ravenwood, do have uh, quite good uh, double side faces, and also all the back torso printings of all of them look quite good, and also neat back head printing for the mummy, which so nicely done there. And as for this minifig selection as a whole, at least quite good for how, for how it is, but yeah. And that is about it with the minifigs. And now, on to the uh, tomb itself. Which I see. 
of which a major upgrade from the original 2008 version. And even though that one of which was kind of a small $20 set, but this of which was 40 and of course has more modern day designs, of course. <clears throat> of course, all of which is resting on a large or two large plate pieces, and they do work out quite well. Anyways, from first glance, the first thing to notice are these little jackal statues, of which, of which, they which built quite nicely done, and of course, there's nice use of those curved kind of pieces there used for the uh, abs of it, and of course, be like a uh, and of course tile piece with a sticker on it. There's a lot of stickers in this set, and of course, represent the like a uh, skirt parts or whatever them, and of course upper head to have these curved plates with more stickers on them and, and of course some more uh, or edge pieces representing arms and of course probably like that I guess the arms are like that to represent them holding the ceiling or something well if there was a ceiling in this set it would be that but also do you have a curved a slope piece and a couple plates representing eyes and, and of course have open mouth part of which and that's from the like lower section a couple jagged slopes representing the uh, legs and feet uh, of course although I think a couple you know, cheese slopes could have worked out on top of that but I'm sure you can add some of those on if you wanted but yeah And as for this entrance way, which as you can see, oh, it does have a couple of fire bits on it, and of course, plenty of snake pieces used in both a uh, dark green and dark blue, and also do get a couple of those recent uh, snake pieces like we've seen in the recent Harry Potter line. Well, nice to see used in green, of course. And as for this arch entryway which is in pure yellow instead of in gold well maybe gold would have been a little too much but at least the yellow which is still quite fair as is and of course nice build going on for that and as for one side of which does have a couple of stickered tiles on there and and of course one hieroglyphic of which does have c3po and r2d2 of star wars on there and of course just like in the movie does that, and of course in the original 2008 set kind of had that as well, so at least they kept true to that. And as for on the wall behind them, which does have these uh, two uh, plate piece, long plate pieces with stickers on them, and of course the well, uh, corner bricks or plates on sides of them, probably representing as statuettes or sarcophaguses or, or something. And also for the wall of which, which of course just bricks stacked on bricks and also uh, brick bricks as some folks call these. And of course a few which do have uh, hieroglyphic stickers, so which nice to see there. And of course do have couple of jagged slopes mixed in represented that in like ruins and what's kind of random is that on the top part does have these uh, dark blue uh, plates and tiles atop whereas for this one wall of which which of course is all sturdy and also they're all connected with these uh, technic beams on there so they don't fall apart and come loose. And also if you notice this lever piece here is on the back side of which which is holding another snake piece so if you look at from the front tilt this up and the snake the dark blue snake falls out of which nicely done feature on there. Oh wait, hang on. Of getting a future ready, which I'll show later. And 
Also, as for on this other wall, which which is where it gets more interesting. There's coming some, but also this one large uh, panel piece with a sticker on, it, and also more hieroglyphics. And see this? Oh, you see this? This is a neat little Easter egg of uh, Toa Mata Gali Holly's mask from Bionicle, and also that of which the a uh, face symbol of the Devastator robots from Exoforce, of which great to see an uh, Easter egg of these two mentioned here, and especially Exoforce. So, and yeah. Although it kind of reminds me of the uh, Harry Potter Chamber Secret sets from recently, where it had a constellation of Tahu's mask on it, but at least nice to see some more Easter eggs of that. But yeah. And. Well, above that, just some more bricks stacked on bricks, of course. And this other statuette, near identical to the uh, other statue built. And of course, with different stickers on it, but yeah. And of course, it has this lever piece here. And of course, the main feature is that if you, if you push on that, and then makes it fall back and collapse the wall off of it. Which nicely done feature of that. And of course with this wall section it does have a rubber technic piece for it to land safely on, which I think great for that. And as for this back section, comprised mostly some uh, light gray pieces and of course a couple large uh, sand green plates around them, of which and you wonder what this little technic bit is for is if you pull on that and the roof collapses down and it shows the mummy on it which nicely done feature and I'm not sure if you can notice on there and you can see you have a bit of a broken wall and a couple uh, eyes stick on there and it's all on a sticker of course and of course two large cobweb Kind of pieces on there. Oh, also forgot to show these other section on the archway, which also stickers there and uh, nice to see there. And of course, do get this little section of it, which a little it's kind of similar to the original 2008 version, but at least this is a good bit different and updated, of course, like those uh, bucket top part pieces were used as put this home good use for that in all of which resting on a basic two by four brick and yellow and those like uh, rod railing kind of bits as handle parts and all of which resting on a, a by one jumper on there. So now, on to the final verdict. Okay, so for my overall verdict is, I think this is which great set. Like, playing good playability, and quite a few good minifigs, and of course, with, well, with Sala, of which first time in being seen in a set, but otherwise great to have for that. Something different from the original uh, 2008 version of this set, but also a nice new updated mummy for that, and of course a couple of Lego Easter egg things on that one sticker uh, panel, obviously. But also do get, and of course this switch, kind of interesting, neat Egyptian style build kind of like that we kind of like what we saw in like uh, Pharaoh's quest long ago but yeah, at least great to see here again but yeah and as for the piece count and the price point of which of which really great for how it is like like for something with 600 pieces you'd expect to be like around like like 45 to 50 dollars but this of which around 40 so that of which quite neat for that and of course, as common with some $40 sets, 
do get quite a fair good amount of playability for them. And of course, this switch does well for that. And of course, there may be a lot of stickers in this set, but at least they're well workable, but yeah. And of course, this does come with a good amount of snake pieces, but yeah. And so now, if you're looking to get this set for your uh, set collection, then definitely get this set. And if you like, don't want to pay so much for the original 2008 version of this set, also definitely pick this up. And if you are looking at some some Egyptian stuff in your uh, displays and all, also definitely pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.